what's up what's good what's poppin welcome to my youtube channel i am stony divine feminine what's up today must be i mean these this week must be hectic because these readings for me lately or lately for you must have been hectic because trying to pull these readings off off has been a little bit hectic okay all right so first card that you got divine feminine for your overall energy and your overall reading was crop circles messages curiosity and signs so pay attention to the signs where's the book so i can read the book so the crop circle phenomenon has intrigued contemporary society with discoveries of vast and intricate geometric patterns found in crop fields throughout the world, which mysteriously actualize overnight. The crop circles vary in design and size and can spawn over hundreds of feet. Shonky man-made prank style crop circles have been found yet pale in comparison to the authentic crop circles mastery and finesse the discoveries of crop circles rarely if ever receive mainstream news to avoid evoking fringe researchers and ufo conspiracists to the forefront crop circles have been discovered largely in the uk but also in china usa South America, Australia, Germany, Canada, Czech Republic, and the Netherlands and Russia. Most UFOologists and paranormal investigators believe the quality of the designs are clearly the responsibility of a higher intelligent beings. Researchers believe the extraterrestrials are using the basic format as a way to bridge with humanity and communicate on a level that does not cause fear and alarm. So right off the back, Divine Fe Feminine, I'm going to say from what I read that someone or something is trying to communicate with you in a very unique way. Okay. Closer studies of the actual crop stems show they do not forcibly bend and snap stems to lay them down. Rather, they are delicately rounded and curved so that they bounce back later still alive. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to tell you something about these messages. How you know what's from God and what's not from God. How you know what's real and what's not real. How do you know what's from um yeah what's like the fake stuff and the real stuff it says like there's no harm okay your higher self is not going to hurt you to give you a message okay so all y'all thinking that y'all stubbing y'all toe and y'all like that's a message that's an omen it could be an omen but it ain't from your higher self okay um now, visitors of these sites insist the energy for days after crop circles are found is magical and serene. So whatever, like, pay attention to how you feel. Pay attention to the energy around you. You're going to be in a good feeling. You're going to be in some type of good energy because you have someone or something trying to communicate with you out that's not in the 3D realm. So, no, like, okay. <laughs> Someone may come up to you and speak to you, but not this. This is about communication that's a little different. You know, like telepathy and signs and omens and, you know, just through a different channel, a different realm. Okay? And it's going to make you feel good and it's not going to hurt you. That's how you know. Reports of witnesses observing crop circles being made say that glowing white orbs fly around in silence above the crops, emanating some type of energy that instantly arranges the crops into designs. These orbs operate swiftly and in complete silence, then just fly away. That's what I'm saying. It's not going to be no usual conversation. Like somebody's going to come and talk to you. I, I give you direction, give you a message. This is going to be um, someone coming from a different realm, a different place, 
um, a different plane, all right, a different type of dimension or something like that, just to come speak to you. It's going to feel good, okay? This could be like an angel or something, because something did tell me to get my angel cards out here. I didn't finish writing on them, but I can still use them because they're all there, like they're all... They're all, like, written on. Like, I have all the angels on here. I just don't have all the definitions of the angels just yet because there's so many. And I just want the most important that's real because, you know, the Internet will give you trash information that you got to sift through and decipher and see what is useful and whatnot. So, um, they're not going to speak to you in any typical way, okay? It's going to be some type of strange, weird message, but it's going to feel good. It's not going to be like an eerie, um, scary, you know, troublesome type of feeling, worrisome feeling. It's going to feel good. You're going to be like, you know, aha, this is what it is. And there's going to be a sense of tranquility, a sense of calm, okay? That's how you know you're on the right path because your solar plexus becomes calm now let's see that's your message okay that messages are being sent to you in a phenomenal way all right let me look at the words on the back first real quick okay the um key words here are signs omens messages text emails curiosity communication unexpected acknowledgement and validation all right in a negative way needing constant validation that's like we don't want we don't want that divine feminine someone telling you something and then someone have to tell you something again and again and again and again and again we don't want that so it's like this message is going to come so special that you're not you should not have to ask again if you have to ask again it's not your it's not for you or it's not from your higher self or god okay losing one's way okay so you're on your path these messages are to place you on your path divine feminine so um like i said if it's if it's still confusing it's not yours it's not for you and block communication we don't want it blocked at all we want to pay attention to the communication that's coming into us okay so that's your main that's your main overall energy right some type of out of worldly communication or some type of um, divine, let's say, you, uh, communication happening for you. Okay. All right. So we got you in the planet of Jupiter. So that's great. You're in the right energy. Okay. You're currently in the right energy right now, divine feminine. You are in the state of mind where you can absorb information. All right, you are in absorbing. So this is a perfect time to actually pay attention to messages because you're learning. Keep your mind opened. All right, you don't want to have a closed mind because then you're not going to receive the messages. There's going to be blocked messages because you're not going to believe what you're seeing. You're not going to pay attention to what you're seeing. You're not going to be detail oriented with what you're seeing. Okay, so we see you in this learning, okay, and you also want the truth. You're very open to the truth. You're very open to learning new things, all right? You're very blessed. You're in a, bl a blessed position because a blessing is coming to you, Divine Feminine, okay? So you have Jupiter in Aries, <laughs> okay? Jupiter in Aries, so you're coming off very boss-like. You're coming off very independent. Okay, it's about you, yourself, okay, very energetic. Um, you have the energy, the motivation, the inspiration to do whatever it is that you need to do. You're coming off as a leader, all right? You're taking the initiative when it comes to whatever this is here in Jupiter, all right? You're taking the initiative. You're like, yes, I'm ready to learn. Yes, I'm willing. Yes, God or higher self, I'm coming to you. Okay, before you even get to me, I'm coming to you or you're saying I'm here seated, Divine Feminine, with my eyes open. I'm in the front of the class. I'm attentive. I'm listening. I'm ready. Teach me. Right. And it's crazy because you're in the 12th house. So you are in a place that is unknown to you you are in a place where things are hidden you are in a place of illusion so you're now keeping your eyes wide open okay 
especially your third eye. You're keeping your third eye wide open. But I feel like you need to keep your third eye wide open. Because like I said, these messages and these signs, you are alert and you're attentive. But I feel like it's going to be something that you're looking right at that you never would have expected to be an omen or be a sign for you. Okay, you get what I'm saying? Because Jupiter and Aries is all about fire and action. So it's like you're ready to take action. You're attentive. But when I said your third eye, your vision, we're in that realm of the 12th house where you should be using your third eye. But you're approaching this situation as I'm ready to see, to look, to learn, and to do. I think you need to get deeper. All right? I think you need to go on higher dimensions with this. Okay. I'm picking up masculine energy because Jupiter is masculine and Aries is masculine. But then you got the feminine 12th house, divine feminine. Okay, and it's coming to messages. Okay, so there might be a message a message from a spiritual leader, a spiritual teacher. Um an ascendant master, okay, is someone from another realm that's sending you a, a message. I feel like it's coming in through a masculine form, okay? It's going to come in through a masculine channel, a masculine form. All right. Let me see what else. I'm going to have to put tarot on here to get a little deeper. All right. So the message is here, though. Learn or teach your willpower, seeking oneness with all there is. So you have to learn your willpower. What part do you play when it comes to God? What part do you play? Okay, or you need to teach whatever it is that you know, okay, when it comes to the 12th house, when it comes to you, you're either in the 12th house right now, in this place of unknown, in this place of God, in this place of religion, in this place of hidden knowledge, in this place of illusion, you're here to either learn or to teach or both, all right, you're either here to learn or to teach, okay. Um, next, be positive about what you think you know about philanthropy, okay? You feel like you're very sensitive. You feel like you're an empath. You feel like you belong here in this house, this 12th house. You're trying to come off as a professor, you know what I mean? Like, well-educated. You want to know the truth. You know the truth. You act on the truth. You're coming out like that, right? But it says be positive about what you think you know about this 12th house, about this hidden knowledge. Be positive about it, okay? Because you're in a realm right now where it can take you somewhere where you don't want to go. That's why I was like really pay attention to the messages because the messages you could be getting, like I said, if it don't feel right, it's not your message. And, it will, and if you ride that wave, it definitely will take you to a place where you don't want to be. Okay, it'll be too overwhelming for you. It'll take you to a place where you do not want to be. Now, if you ride that wave in a positive light, you'll learn some things. You'll learn some hidden knowledge. You'll learn some occult wisdom or whatever type of wisdom this is up in the 12th house. Okay. All right, you learn about uh, the divine. You learn how to heal yourself. Okay, oh yeah, we artistic, the 12th house. That's all Pisces, Neptune energy. Okay, um, so what else? Yeah, so you don't want to get spun into a spiral going downward, right? So you really have to have some type of control. When it comes to your mind state, okay? What you don't know is somewhere in your chart, even though this event or this situation or this, you know, whatever's happening right now, even though 
it seems to you as though it's unknown to you, it was brand new, you're really at home. <laughs> you're really somewhere in your chart, Divine Feminine, there is like, you're at home in the 12th house. You have like a Neptune in the 12th house or something like that. But you're at home in the 12th house. Okay. Um, also, you can actually compare this to like you your experience in here that's that's really it your experience this is like this area this in a, uh this 12th house area is no you're no stranger okay you've seen it all all right like i said in another reading nothing can surprise you all right you you don't have no any problem walking through the valley of the shadow of death Let's see what Angel is trying to get in contact with you right after I read this last part. Grow and expand. Do it your own way and keep your involvement hidden. Okay? So grow and expand. So learn. Educate your mind. Right? Do it the way that you need to. So there's something that you're doing where you need to put your expert like you're an expert at something you may not know it <laughs> but you are so you need to put your spin and do things your own way maybe teach your own way learn your own way whatever knowledge that you have you need to teach it and learn it for sure do it your own way and keep your involvement hidden okay so this is some secret squirrel stuff so you're not supposed to tell anybody how you got this information how you know this information just teach it or show it right grow and expand um and do it in your own way so if you're learning something keep keep all right so keep what you learn fresh hidden and if you're teaching something new it's something about you not directly teaching it Okay, like you see how some of us tower readers, we're like not really in the camera for many reasons, something like that. Maybe keep your involvement hidden or just because it's like, how can you teach? Well, you can have a blog or something like that and have an alias or something where you can teach um, these this hidden knowledge and nobody will know as you like that. That's what I'm picking up. That's the type of energy that I'm picking up. All right, let's see what um, what angel here is sending you a message. All right. Okay, we still came back to the first one. <clears throat> we still can't. Oh, no, it's the ninth one. My bad. Hazael. Hazael. This is an angel of divine mercy, divine forgiveness. This is a really good angel. A really good angel. Right? I also want to look up stuff. Even though I wrote a lot here already, I still want to kind of look on the internet. It might be something extra I could put. Um, yeah, that's a really good angel. This is the angel of love. Okay, so someone is sending you a message of love, right? It could be a lover, but it could also be your ancestors with this fourth house right here. So, yeah, you got some ancestors that's sending you a message about love. Also, this is an angel that keeps promises help or helps you keep promises. It helps you show respect to people. And it helps you gain favor from people that's in power. So if you went and spoke to the president right now, you would gain favor from him, honey. Okay? So this is the angel has IL. So he could be um, talking about you having forgiveness or divine mercy on someone. Like, maybe you should forgive someone. Okay, has IL means God sees. You see what I'm saying? More stuff I could have put, put. But like the internet, you go to... Four different sites, and they have four different things. But I like that. God sees. I'm going to write that on there right now. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Yes, it did. I'll pick a right marker.
Okay. So his name, uh, <clears throat> this angel's name mean, means God sees. Okay. So that means God see you, boo. And he trying to communicate with you. And that's really dope. That's really dope. I put Hazael meaning he's actually a guardian angel. Hazael, guardian angel. Yep. Forgiveness and reconciliation. Did I write that there? Let me write down reconciliation as well. Okay, so you're getting a message, could be from a lover who wants to reconcile, or you're getting a message, could be from um, a, this angel, Hazael, who wants you to reconcile with a lover, right? Okay, it also, why it says another, another meaning, God of mercy. Let me put that too, God of mercy. Okay, I don't want to put it there twice. Okay, anyway, so forgiveness and reconciliation, that's what this message is. Okay, so there's being like a portal opening, right? Say there's a portal opening, you're in it right now, and it's an area unknown to you. So you might not be familiar with like apologizing or forgiving someone who hurt you or wronged you or reconciliation. This is brand new to you. You don't know what to expect, but you're open to it, okay? I feel like or you need to be open to it, right? Your ancestors want you to reconcile with someone. Let's get some tarot on it. All right, we got you back in your emotions in the 12th house. I'm telling you, you are not unfamiliar with this energy, okay? Very emotional energy for you, Divine Feminine. Oh, it looks like you're by yourself, though. That's the whole thing. You're by yourself right now, right, with this Aries energy, the I am, the self, okay? So you could be learning something alone, learning something by yourself, okay? You could be learning about astrology, astronomy, the stars, the constellations, um, herbalism, tea, emotional intelligence, uh, emotional intelligence. Okay, I don't know what this glowing thing is, but something magical, all right, that you could be learning. You could be learning how to destroy things, um, the truth behind things. All right, the naked truth behind things. I feel like this is the lady from the star car. It might not be because her hair is black here, and the other lady's hair is, um, I think, blonde in the star in the star car. Don't get me to looking. Yeah, see, thank God I was right there. Her hair is long and blonde, so this damn sure ain't the same lady. Okay, in this water, so this is a different kind of water. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, you could be healing as well, all right? Learning how to heal or teaching or healing someone. I see you in that energy, all right? So it's like you are taking an opportunity. You are taking an opportunity um, to learn while you're, while you're in this um, situation or this mind state. All right, Aries came out right underneath the Aries. Excuse me, but when it's reversed, it's my Leo card. So it's something about your identity, something about who you are. I see you being, you might be a little bit like aggressive about your life. All right, you might be a little aggressive about your life, a little anal, a little detail oriented, a little rough around the edges when it comes to structure. Okay, so you may be um, divine feminine, a little extra militant. All right, also, I feel like, like I said, I feel a uh, masculine energy coming out. So this could be divine masculine wanting to reconcile with you. 
okay your divine masculine wants to yeah look at the two of cups at the bottom your divine masculine wants to reconcile with you wants to be a part of you or with you Okay, I'm hearing sorry. I want to come home. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Something may have happened with you because you're you may be at a state of like healing right now. So where you're trying to learn how to heal yourself. You're trying to learn to be positive all over all over again. It's like you're trying to regain your strength or something all over again. So y'all might have gotten into like uh like a nasty little separation but but this angel here and this message here is urging you to reconcile with this person and to forgive them and to love them okay okay oh, so You might have had a rough patch with this person, but now things are good. Things are more happier. Things are more positive. You made it over that hump, okay? You probably went through something so traumatic with this person. Yeah, something real triggering happened. Okay, maybe this divine masculine wasn't, you know, um, perhaps they were like a bit aggressive, overly aggressive. Okay, which may have felt a little toxic, okay, because they were like overly aggressive or overly forceful. All right, and this is something that you might ha not have known about this person that's now being revealed to you. That's now, but you had to go through it, okay? This is not something that you could have seen from the outskirts, Divine Feminine. This is something that you had to actually go through, okay, with this person in order to see it come out of this person. Okay, something about the back of somebody's shirt or the back of somebody's um, jacket or the back of somebody's sweater. Okay, something about that. It's like, I don't know, it's being um, highlighted. Okay, someone needs to be concerned about what shampoo they use to wash their hair. Okay, I'm seeing like residue. There's some type of residue left after a certain shampoo or conditioner. All right. Okay, yeah, you you may be having, like, vivid dreams or nightmares. I see you worried about something. Okay, also, you may be studying something, like I said, that's outside the box that, norm, that people normally don't study. All right, you're trying to learn something really bad. You're trying to learn about dreams or dream travel, out-of-body experience. You're trying to learn, you know, it's crazy shit up in the 12th house. All types of magic and, and hidden knowledge and stuff like that is in the 12th house. 12th house and the 8th house. That's where you find your taboo and wild and crazy. Like, it gets wilder when it gets to the 12th house. It gets real wild.
yeah someone is like so freaking aggressive b like they just stands up like i'm picking up aries heavy divine feminine someone is like super duper aggressive i don't know i'm not gonna say this is how you should be but you know if, don't let don't be bullied don't let nobody bully you either i don't care if it is a lover but someone may have been like mad aggressive towards you this person may have like gotten up early in the morning just to like antagonize you or harass you if y'all live together this is like a morning person someone that gets up in the morning and then they like to open the shades and you know what i mean and it's like when one person gets up everybody has to get up this is the energy that i'm getting from this person you may have been traumatized by this person this real militant person, Divine Feminine. Okay. This person could have led you to drink, or do drugs, something. Yeah, so basically what it is, you got free from this person. You got free from the situation. Y'all might got kids together, maybe not. Y'all might got money tied in together, maybe not. But you got away from the situation. Now you're like, I don't know where I'm going. Where do I go next? Okay, I got free from this freaking person. Now where do I go? Okay, now your heart is like leading you somewhere else. Okay. Either, either your heart is leading you somewhere else or this heart, your heart is leading you back to this person. But I don't feel like it's back to this person for the simple fact this is a new path that you're going on. So it can't be going backwards. Otherwise, you'd be going backwards. This is a whole brand new path. Like you're free and you got a whole brand new path. But what is this message about someone reconciling and stuff like that? If this person, like, if this person was abusive or I don't want to just throw words out there like that, like abusive and stuff like that. Those are like criminal words. But if this person was like really aggressive and really forceful and stuff like that and really domineering and stuff, it's like, why would you want to go back to that? Okay, perhaps um, the angel is coming to tell you to forgive this person. All right, forgive it. It's probably weighing you down. Like you have baggage and you can't grow, flow, go unless you let, you know, take the weight off of you. Okay, so I see you wanting to make a change, right? You don't want to go with the flow. You're going to go against the grain. Okay, and that's what the energy is calling for you to do. The energy wants you to go against the grain. All right, whatever people normally do, don't do that. Do something different. Yeah, this person is coming back. This person is like, they don't take no for an answer. I'm picking up real fiery energy, Aries Leo energy coming from this person. First house and fifth house. Y'all might got kids together. This person may just love you, okay? This person in, in you know, a weird way because they're very aggressive, you know? They're very aggressive. Like, everything has to go their way, like, precisely. You know, it's giving me sleeping with the enemy, you know, but he was a little bit abusive, but it was like, you know, all the labels on the can had to be facing forward. The towels had to be a certain way. He would know like this is giving me that type of energy, a kind of like not so much narcissistic because people that claim they narcissists, they don't have that OCD trait. Like I got that OCD trait where I could tell when something's been moved, but I don't consider myself like narcissistic or anything. So not every narcissist has that ocd trait but this one on the this one here has that ocd trait this one does like everything has to be perfect and on top of that and they're a narcissist or and they're like just too forceful and aggressive and stuff like that too domineering like it's too much be like 
ease up. You know, this person would normally be a divine masculine. Oh, that's why it's reconciliation. Because this is a divine masculine gone bad, okay? This is a divine masculine who's, like, abusing their power. Now, I will use that word in a con, you know, in that context. This is a divine masculine that's abusing their power, divine feminine. That's why you're running away from them. Yeah, there's some type of block. Like, this person blocks you when you're trying to leave. or you're Not that you're trying to leave. I see you leaving. I see you going. But on your while on your path, this person catches up to you. They come and they block you. Like, they know exactly what you're doing. Y'all share the same something, thoughts, or something like that. I don't know. The love is card out, ain't out here, but this is a divine masculine. Okay? And there, there's a love thing going on. Like, what's very important is the messages that your angels are trying to send you. That seems to be the most important thing out of this whole thing, okay, is that your your angels is, you know, some there's ancestor messages, right? And it's about love, and it's supposed to feel good, okay? Um, Like I said, if it's about forgiveness, then forgive this person, Okay? If it's about forgiveness, then forgive them. You ain't got to reconcile and go back to this person. Maybe you'll have another divine masculine. Let me see. Okay, it looks like like it looks like a message is stopping you. Yeah, like you're not getting this message or something like that. There's a message that's blocking you or or you're on your path, but you're not paying attention to this message that's coming in. That's why, okay, the messenger is out here. Crop circles. Okay, something may be written, like, in your chart about something. Check your Jupiter, because that's mostly that's, like, the husband planet is Jupiter. Something about this person probably being your husband. This divine masculine could be your husband, your future husband, could possibly be future husband because everything is in the process, in the progress right now. Okay, I see you doing something by yourself. All right, you might be real talented. I see you building, learning something, designing something, putting something together, doing some type of arts architecture, but you're doing it alone. Okay, you might want to be this person's friend. I see, I don't know, you're somewhere like really nice and luxurious. I see a lobby. I see a hotel lobby. That's really nice and really luxurious. Okay. Divine Feminine. Someone's in there. All right. Let's keep going. Okay. I also see some type of hope and faith. Like, this hope and this connection. I see some type of contract. Okay. I feel like Divine Feminine, like, if there's a contract between you and this Divine Masculine, it's like you didn't break your side of the contract, but they may have. Okay. They may have. Because I see you... You, like, have the same rigidness or you understand their rigidness or you've known them for a long time. Like, since y'all been friends, this person has been rigid. Like, they always been like that. I feel like y'all got into a relationship and you didn't think that this person was going to be that way towards you. But they were. But they are. Okay? But it's something about you being able to handle it. This person feels like you can handle their rigidness. And you, with a hopeful mind, with a faithful mind, you have been because you don't care because you took an oath. You took some type of oath or you signed some type of contract with this person or you just made a promise to this person of, you know, 
like yo promise here we go keeps promises this is the angel that keeps promises so it's like you made a promise to this person and you're not gonna break it but this person is like being a real dickhead All right, so this person is finally fucking feeling something. You know what I mean? It takes a while for people to re be remorseful. This person is being real remorseful, but they think it's over, like, officially. Like, you laugh, and, but the, a message stopped you. You were going on a new path somewhere else, but this message stopped you. All right, so somebody sent you a message. It made you a lot more wiser. Now you know what to do. Now you even know what to do about this relationship, okay? I don't know, somebody, something. You got the message, though. So you finally got this message. You is, Everything is understood. I feel like you're not confused, all right? Any any longer, we'll see, okay? Um, you, may not, you may have some decisions to make now. Now this path cuts down to into two. Now you don't know whether to stay or whether to go. All right, with well, this person, this person is finally feeling remorseful. Finally, they feel rejected. They feel remorse. They was at first, they was this mean person. I don't think they was trying to be mean on purpose. I don't see any type of like, um, you know, abuse them beating you up or anything. But I do see them like being real disciplined, real, you know, um, like a tyrant almost. You know, just something that was like too unbearable for you because you're all sensitive. You're in the 12th house and so you're like, you know, what does that mean? And why are you doing that? And why, you know. And this person also was so used to coming and going. This is this was the type of divine masculine that would come and go, which is crazy, you know, that they are not trying to, like, you're trying to put in and, and build and make a commitment and they're trying to live the fast life. And that's what you couldn't take, Divine Feminine, this person living the fast life and you're the only one doing the work and putting in the, um, you're putting in the work and this person is giving the rules. You know what I mean? Like, like as though you're the divine masculine and this person is the divine feminine. That's why I said you're in your like divine masculine energy. Like I'm seeing some type of masculine energy here with Jupiter and Aries. You know what I'm saying? But it's in the 12th house. So it's a place where you're supposed to be feminine. Okay. Which the 12th house is neither not masculine or feminine. I'm just going by my intuition on how I need to read this reading. You know, of the 12th house being Neptune, which is Pisces, which is Cups, which is feminine. So there's a lot of like, I feel like there's a lot of masculine energy going around here. And so this person, this divine masculine now, you know, is between, is, it could be like a power struggle, a battle, you know what I'm saying? But I don't see the struggle. I don't see you going against it. I see you being very, very submissive, divine feminine. Like this person gives you this and you do it. You know what I mean? Um, I'm picking up a chess game, something about a chess game. But, like, this person say, okay, make this move, right? And you'll make that move. You know, you'll do it. But you're the only one doing it while this person is coming and going as they please. While this divine masculine is coming and going and, and doing it. And they're not structured and they're not disciplined. But they're trying to give you discipline. They're trying to give you rules. And they're trying to give you standards. And they're trying to give you a bar to jump over divine feminine. That don't sound right. So I see why you opted out to leave out of the situation. OK, but there's a messenger that's coming back to you when that makes you turn back around. OK, to go and deal with this person, this asshole, this fool. Right. Because I don't know why. Because they, they're feeling remorseful now. They're feeling simply alone. They feel left alone. They feel down. They feel like everything is in the pits right about now. And that's the perfect time to go and turn back. Right. And hopefully this person will have learned their lesson because this angel is talking about mercy Okay, you know, when God has mercy on you, you don't deserve it. You really don't deserve the mercy and the grace that God, you know what I mean? Because we, as people, we ain't shit. You know what I mean? We do fucked up shit. Now, ma majority of the time, we try to do good, but a lot of times, don't even front. You know, you be doing some fucked up ass shit around feminine. 
So we're not, we're far from perfect, okay? We're not, we're far from perfect, but God still has mercy on us. God still loves us because he made us. He know, he know we asses. We, he know we fools out here. You know what I mean? But God continues to love us because we continue to love him, right? So it's saying to have mercy on this person, to forgive this person, okay? This is a really good angel. Like this angel's like, they would not come out if they weren't a good angel. You know what I mean? Be like, yo, that's a good person. That's a good dude right there. This is a good angel. This dude right here has a, has IL. That's a good dude right there, right? He's an angel of love. God points to him the angel of love, right? That's dope. All right, and it's saying to keep your promise. Keep, he helps you keep promises. He helps you show respect. Now, respect is a ten of pentacles. That's what we're trying to get to for some reason. But this divine masculine, like, I don't know, doesn't have respect. I feel like this divine masculine doesn't even have respect for himself, okay, let alone you, divine feminine. So this is a healing process here. Something has to heal here. That's why we're in the 12th house of healing and, um, you know, of hidden knowledge and just you know basically um like a like getting over overwhelming situations right getting through it healing from it stuff like that okay so i see you do submit divine feminine like this person give you an order and you do that shit right but anyway you couldn't take it because it was one-sided it was not reciprocated like i do this work you know what i'm saying i stay disciplined i stay in my realm i don't talk to no men you know what i mean like you felt like you had all these rules and stuff like that and this person is free to do whatever the hell they want so what you did divine feminine you freed yourself too you freed yourself okay but on your way on your path of freeing yourself okay you got stopped by a message right crop circles ain't the angel has il came to you no divine feminine go back but this person treats me like garbage go back because now that you left they're down on their knees now that you left they have no hope there's no there's not even no hope like this person could be on the brink of suicide that type of energy okay and that's exactly what God be wanting people right down there. So you can start praying and asking and begging, not begging, but praying and asking for assistance. All right. Learning what hope is right. Learning to be grateful. What I say, healing, healing, you are healing. You are trying to heal. Okay. And you're trying to heal yourself first. You're not even thinking about nobody else. You're trying to, I feel like, you know, let me heal, you're like divine feminine, you're like, you're going to heal yourself first, and then after you heal yourself, then you'll go back and, and try to heal other people, and that's the only way you can do it. How can you heal somebody else if you didn't heal yourself? How can you um, lead someone through the 12th house, through, the, through this darkness, through this dark time, through the, through the shadow of the, um, the valley of the shadow of death, if you don't have a flashlight? If you ain't never walked through it, so you had to go through it so that you could go back and get this person. Send Kofa, go back and get them. Okay? So you could go back and get this divine masculine. And that's what you're doing. So right now you're healing. This, this is, um, I'm picking up like a stubborn person. This person is stubborn. Like first they go from fire to water, but the way it flips, I doubt if they can handle the emotions, the way the emotions like run in, you know, <sighs> so they're going, this person is going to apologize, but it's something about this apology. Okay, so I see you starting over with this person, right? Because, only because you have healed. 
that's the only reason why you're giving another per this person a, you're taking a risk on this person you're giving this person another chance this person may have been really praying but they were really slow this person is stubborn they were really slow to apologize like they were really slow to get up off their knee and come to say sorry to you okay and this person know that they in love with you they i think they're figuring it out because the whole time that you were there there and they were treating you like you know like something lesser than they were all cool and in the minute you you left that's when they got into their emotions they got into their bag they became very emo like the whole world just left but they're still a stubborn person because they're very slow to apologize you know but they do it though at least it's something about them doing that maybe that it's a um a sign of healing it's a sign of healing now they they're not on your level of healing but they're getting like if you're emanating energy divine feminine they're getting the healing off of you you get what i'm saying like you healed yourself first and you went around them and they're like hold on i feel a little different um i think i'm sorry what you know this person is so used to like i guess um expressing their emotions in a different way okay but i do see you having some type of hope and you taking some risk and it feels good that's what i was saying if it don't feel good then it's not the way to go but if it feels good you going back and you um confronting and facing this person and it's all you divine feminine like this is all your energy nobody made you do anything you have to be open to seeing the messages and listen and paying attention and, and taking heed to direction and instruction you know listen to your higher self your higher power god the angels So you go back to this person. Let's see what the outcome is. I don't know you feel like you're walking on eggshells or it's really difficult for you to do something or balance something all right i almost feel like things go right back to being the same Wow, this is crazy. Now this person wants to fight. Think, things go right back to being the same. And I feel like this person is still like against you now. I hope this ain't no physical fight. Hold on.
okay, I see. I don't know somebody crying like you cry, like everything went back to like you went back to this person and everything went back to the same but you're a little bit more powerful than you were I don't know what you're doing you're manifesting something here you're bringing like you sat and cried and figured something out all right let's see mm. oh okay so you guys are mirroring each other mm. hold on goodness gracious there you go leave i feel like you're leaving again i feel like you're leaving again because what is this you're manifested something like but you're very powerful like this is crazy it's like you go back things are the same with this person this person even probably gets worse and this is a divine masculine but the thing is is like divine feminine you're kind of mirroring this energy or something like this is something that's reflecting through both of y'all like you got some shit on your chest that you need to get off like you, you didn't forgive this divine masculine about something this divine masculine pick, can pick up on that energy i feel like they pick up on your energy like if you don't forgive them if you don't really love them if oh i feel like y'all are truly hidden enemies but lovers at the same time what is the angel trying to say? Give me another card. Okay, because this time I don't feel like you leave. It's it's harder for you to leave. Like, but you meant you you manifest this. But I don't know, honey. You going back to my feminine was like it made things a little bit like you feel obligated. Let's say that you feel obligated, though. You feel like you got more duties and more obligations or something like this motherfucker got, you know, this slow ass apology and then five of wands. They get worse. Okay. What is this? The Nagas wanted to come out. What is this? Fire element wanted to come out. All right, infinity eternal plan. So y'all are past life lovers, okay, that need some type of healing. Both of y'all. That's crazy. Y'all past life lovers. So somebody might have to go into the 12th house. Somebody might have to go into a facility or some type of anger management classes or a group or something like that. Because, oh, hell no, divine feminine, like. But why would this, okay. It's something is this is not something that you you gotta run from, okay, a lot of times it's women out there that get like now I can say the word abused, right, and they need to leave that person, and this may sound weird, but I feel like this person can be healed, okay, normally. Not don't feel like it's your obligation though. It's not your obligation, but perhaps this person needs to go to like some type of in institution or some type of group meeting or group setting. You know, something where everybody you gonna have to make this person go. You gonna have to make this person go. Maybe don't move back in with them until they go to help. I don't know, but the angels are saying like this person. Like, y'all need healing. Immense, intense healing. Um, Y'all need to start all over again because this is like a pattern that's going to continue. Maybe you leaving and coming back is a pattern that's going to continue because you need to heal it. It needs to be healed. This ain't one of them shits that you can run from. You know, the bitch run and she lives somewhere else and find a new man. This ain't it. Divine Feminine. 
this is something that you actually got to go through and heal with this person. Ain't no running from this situation or this person. I feel like both of y'all in the same, y'all mirroring each other. Like, whatever you're feeling inside, this divine masculine is acting it out. Okay, so you may, like, inside you may be like, oh, I don't forgive this person. They make me upset. You don't have to say it because this is your partner. So your divine masculine is going to feel it. All right, let me get a card for this real quick. Yeah, you're going to have to walk away or not talk to this person, leave the house until they go into like a rehab or something like that. I don't know if it's, I didn't see any addictions out here, but I do see like, you know, someone being a little more physical than they should, a little bit more forceful than they should, a little bit more aggressive than they should, and they may need some help because... You know, I see you trying to bring it together and make it work. You're still trying to make it work, but you're really struggling. And money is an issue. Money is a problem right now. Okay? And you might be the only one that bring home bread. But why this person is like, they're trying to control it. You know, this person could be out of work or something. So it's all temporarily. Like, this, they're coming out as a divine masculine. But this is like, what's the word I'm looking for? A, a something This is one of them This is like a It started with a D But there's another word I'm calling it imperfect <laughs> This is a Or not to say anybody is perfect But this one is like really Made a whole three six Like a whole 180 Like They're like Somebody's going towards their south node That type of energy I'm picking up south node energy Like yeah, and you may have to, like, assist in bringing someone out. Like, normally, abusive relationship, I would say run. Yes, you got free. You know, I seen it from the beginning. From the beginning, when the nigga was turn, had his back turned, it was like, okay, that's sus. You feel me? Like, now, is this abuse? So, I could see it from the jump, but it's like... You leave and then you get some type of spiritual fucking message to go back. And then when you go back, this person gets worse. Okay. But then I see it's a cycle. That's what the angel is saying. Angel is saying that it's some type of cycle that you're going through. And you're going to go through it until, like, everybody is healed completely. Completely healed. Like, both of y'all. Like, there's no running out of the situation. That's crazy. Because, you know, what if you don't love? Well, there's love here. Y'all still love each other. But it's like, I guess that's that's the part that's keeping y'all together. You know what I mean? The fact that there's still love there. There's, there's enough love there that you guys can heal each other. You, you want to heal. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're loving on yourself. You're going to end up loving on yourself, Divine Feminine. And this person is going to be watching you. But I feel like, you know, in order to see change, you have to be the change. And I feel like you know that, Divine Feminine. So that's why you're trying to heal yourself first. And then you could go back and you could heal this person. But right now, you can't heal this person. Or you just, yeah, I'm just going to have to, you know what I mean? It's, you you can't do it yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have medication, you get what I'm saying? Unless you're a pharmacist or something, and you could, then okay, kudos to you. All right, you're a healer. You're you're beyond healer. Um, I feel like your energy alone is good, but not if he beating it down. You can't heal and beat down. You gotta, you know, you gotta go and heal fully, 100 percent. You know, before you can't just keep trying to heal someone and they'll be beating down your positive energy. Like it's not. It's gonna be like throwing money in the garbage. Getting money and just literally throwing it in the trash. Okay. 
okay so in this in this um energy in this sense you have to be the teacher okay you're gonna have to be the teacher after you learned how to heal now you're gonna have to teach this person how to heal because this person is watching you they're watching and admiring you your healing process and everything Damn, this person is not going to do the right thing. They got something in their heart that's tainted. Okay, I'm not going to... They got something on their heart. Like, they got baggage. They really got baggage. All right? You're going to have to, like, disconnect from this person for a while, for a couple of months. It's like this person feels some type of way about your healing process. Where they're supposed to be learning from it, they're feeling like inferior. I'm hearing the word galaxy. Oh gosh, y'all are gonna y'all gonna end up living together, right? Y'all gonna end up living together. Or this person's gonna end up like going into a facility or something like that. Or going to some type of anger management group. Okay, you might be watching this person from afar or you're waiting on this person to heal. And this person hasn't, this person is starting to heal. All right, find a fucking lead. Damn, they're really starting to dwell on that. Okay, they're starting to unload that baggage they got in their heart. You know how you weigh your heart to the feather? Yeah, this person doesn't really know what the right thing to do is. But I see they're trying to do it now. All right, it's a lot. They, this person has a lot of chaos in their life. A lot of strife, a lot of chaos. I mean, yeah, it's it's a lot of back and forth. This whole reading is like it's just a lot of back and forth. It's just telling me about how you're waiting for this person. This person still has issues. They have mental issues, all right, that they need to handle. You're still waiting for the result. You're still waiting on this person, all right. You don't you you still have faith and you still have hope for this person, which is good. I th I I don't know what the angel told you, but the angel told you something along the lines of like this is a connection that needs to be healed and not ran from. So that's what you're working on, okay? You you might move you might have moved back in, moved out, moved back in. Okay, do whatever you need to to stay safe, okay? At the end of the day, but still hate heal. It's like you're waiting on this person. Yeah, you still got mad love for this person. I told you, like, the 12th house is, like, your domain. That's your home. You're, like, A1 when it comes to, like, addictions and unknown shit and just hidden shit and, you know, things coming out the closet and shit like that. You are well-versed. Like, nothing shocks you, nothing scares you and stuff like that. You always try to help. You know what I mean? 
but it's just that something blocks you when it's time for you to heal this person like really get down to physical healing you always blocked but you're always blocked from leaving so Okay, so this person uh, looks like they may go into a facility or something like that. Let me see. Okay, so this person may go get help or some type of guidance. They may go to like some type of guidance group or something like that. So they're trying. Finally, finally, they're trying. Okay, so you stuck it. You stuck it through. You had that unconditional love for this person. You have more love for yourself, divine feminine, than you have for this person because you know you can't heal nobody unless you heal the trauma within you. Especially if this is your divine partner, y'all both should be healing the trauma within yourself so y'all don't trigger each other. So y'all don't. You know what I mean? Um, there's no, no cross of communication, you know, no misunderstandings and stuff like that when it comes down to communicating and acting things out and showing how, you know, um, expressing you guys feelings towards each other. All right. So this person finally goes and they get help for real. They take a serious opportunity to go and like get some help from a group. Okay. Some type of group guidance. All right. It's not nothing that you live in. I don't feel like it's something that you live in, but I see like some type of group meeting. Okay, so I see you being a high priestess, divine feminine. The high priestess came out for you, so you already know what I'm telling you, okay? You probably just needed, like, confirmation or something like that. Like, girl, I already know. I just wanted to make sure I was hearing it right. Mm -hmm. You better take his ass on one and get that healing. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I feel like, but the only thing is that when it's this person's time to talk or tell a story, they haven't opened up yet. Okay? So they haven't yet opened up to the emotions. They might feel like they're better than the people that's around you. It might be an ego thing. Like, okay, this is real low vibe and energy. Like, some people might be real way off worse than this person. Okay? Um, just because you're abusive don't mean that you have, like, some type of, like, schizophrenia or some type of weird you know not weird but some type of mental illness it's like schizophrenia or, or split personality or something like that you don't always have a mental illness but i feel like this person gets around a group and they don't speak they don't like to talk they don't like to take the floor because they feel like they're better than those people or those people are, are lower than them but they're going they're definitely going okay I feel like that if this person was a drinker, that they stopped drinking. A lot. They stopped drinking altogether or they stopped drinking a lot. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Excuse me. Okay. So I think that's really much... Yeah, they feel like that group is beneath them. Okay. 
I feel like they like to go at nighttime. They get they got nighttime meetings. All right. I feel like some nights this person don't go and they go somewhere else. Just saying. But I feel like you know that already. Like there's some nights this person like dip off. Maybe they go with their friends or I don't know. Maybe it's somebody on the side. I don't know. I don't want to throw more fuel into this fire because it's like bad enough you abusive at home. Now you're telling me you cheating too? Like, come on. Come on. Let me see. <laughs> I'm just telling you what I see, guys. I got to. See and say. See, it says God sees. As I yell, God be seeing. All right. And then, so then God got to say. See and say. Like, let you got to lay it on the line before you reconcile. Lay it all on the line before y'all get back together. Okay. Yeah, you. I feel like you picked up on that. Okay, it could have it could have even been a scent of another perfume. Yeah, somebody got caught. So they this person got caught with an, with another person one day, or they will be. Yeah, I feel like they cut. I don't know. They'll cut that person off. Or there's going like they're not gonna speak to this person anymore. It might have been somebody they met at the freaking AA meeting or something or the anger management meeting. Maybe it's some women in there that throw hands. All right, it's some type of. But I feel like they cut that off. They block that. Like once they get caught, that's it. They're not um, sneaking out no more. Okay, I don't know where this relationship is going with you and this person. I'm not gonna keep. I think the uh, main point of it got out, you know, that this is a he some type of healing cycle. Y'all got to go through the heal. Okay. I got to go through it to heal, to elevate. Right. But I'm just like thrown back about the cards that didn't come out. So it wasn't about is this person committed to you? It wasn't about nothing like that any third party situation nothing like that is about healing this whole reading was about healing and needing to heal and not run and facing each other confronting each other and two couples helping each other heal opposed to running always running and running and running now y'all want to deal and heal together get through this together because we're all human beings we're all imperfect right but perfect at the same time and we all um, have these traumatic um, things inside of us or these traumatic things that happen to us or just in certain ways we connect and we bond whether it be through things that we relate with or things that have traumatized us but we all need to realize come to a realization and use each other for healing okay namaste namaste means the light in, in me recognizes the light in you so why not namaste with pain like the pain in me recognizes the pain in you and i want to heal that opposed to being repelled by it and running saying oh no i don't want that type of pain i can't deal with it then you need healing you if you don't if if i can't if you have a a, a band-aid on and i'm sorry if you have a cut, right, and I have a cut, but I look at your cut and I get scared, that means I didn't even heal my cut. That means I'm not confident enough to have healed myself, you know, confidently to come and heal you. So it's like, Divine Feminine, you may have needed to separate yourself for a minute to heal yourself and come right back to help heal your partner. Okay, and that is true sacrifice because the 12th house is all about sacrifice. And a lot of us don't sacrifice certain things. A lot of us are in this Aries energy selfish. Your partner may be in that Aries energy selfish. Like you guys may be marrying each other, but one person is like, oh no, this is an enemy. You know what I mean? It's something inside of you guys that are like triggering each other. 
okay and both of y'all may not be able to deal with it but i see you divine feminine being the one to heal okay could have been anybody could have been a divine masculine that's doing the healing to heal a traumatized divine feminine but in this case is a traumatized divine masculine that's being healed by a traumatized divine feminine so it's not about running and being free and and saving yourself all the time there are people that you can actually help and you can actually save right and that's with love so that's what hits you divine feminine love hit your ass real love okay that's what real love is you got fake love and you got real love real love sticks around it helps it goes through the darkness with you okay um fake love has um uh, com what's the word i'm looking for not compromise conditions fake love has conditions real love is unconditional okay it's not what you do it's how you do it it's not saying run head on straight into a mac truck because i have this unconditional love but it's saying okay maybe in order to cross the street i need padding i need um elbow I need some protection and then let me go in to this cage and, you know, help, you know, always heal yourself first and prepare yourself first. You don't just jump into anything unprepared. OK, we're not saying be reckless, but we're saying be fearless, be fearless, not reckless. OK, so you got to be prepared to heal someone. All right. Instead of being prepared to always run away from it okay you gotta face this one divine feminine so that's been your reading see that's why i feel like someone inside this divine masculine knew it but it was like kind of barbaric it's like it's like y'all don't speak much so and then so y'all languages is way off you know what i mean a little bit you know, y'all don't really, y'all, there's a lot of misunderstandings here. So this person, this divine masculine part was speaking in like, unga, unga, you know, caveman, I grab you by hair and drag you, you know, that's what I'm supposed to do, right? <laughs> like, this divine masculine is like, ain't that what I'm supposed to do? And it's not, no, it's not, you know, but that's, that's their way of facing you. You know, they were trying to face you, but they didn't know how. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, um... Something was really distorted, okay, and misunderstood about your relationship, okay? And once that illusion was broken and stuff like that, then um, now you got time to heal. Now you can heal each other, okay? Maybe you didn't know. Like I said, you, you probably got with this person and didn't even know their history. Didn't even know, yeah, where they came from they family that's why y'all gotta do background checks on these people before y'all really get into it before you get yourself stuck in something now you gotta fix it okay now you gotta fix it all right so that's been your reading divine feminine i hope you enjoyed it i'm out